More than 100 burglaries solved at once. Well, police say an Ashwaubenon man has admitted to committing the burglaries in the Green Bay area. 21-year-old Jesse Dellis has now been charged with a few of those burglaries. And as Fox 11's Robert Hornacek shows us tonight, police say he may be responsible for even more burglaries than he's admitted to. It's a crime spree that went on for nearly one year. Police say this man, 21-year-old Jesse Dallas, has admitted to the string of 132 burglaries. Maybe he has a conscience. Police from three agencies talked about the case at a news conference Tuesday. So far, Dallas has only been charged with two counts of burglary, but police are recommending 132 charges. Police say Dallas left evidence, including DNA, at some of the crime scenes. Police say the 21-year-old has cooperated with them and is admitted to the burglaries. They've uh, tied him into these number of cases and it doesn't do uh, him any good to, to be deceptive about it because you have the evidence in place and when you present somebody with the evidence that you have in place, they're more willing to talk. Police say the investigation is not over. The chances that he is linked to more, yes. One additional burglary police are looking at happened at the Stitch in Time store on Military Avenue. I just went, oh, my register was gone. I'm like, oh my God, my register's gone. He's I interviewed owner Lori Stoneburner last December after police informed us of a string of burglaries in the area, including the one at Stitch in Time. The burglary at the store has some things in common with the others Dallas is accused of. It's in the same area, happened around the same time, and the burglar stole money and caused property damage. They're taking our livelihood away. Stoneburner's store was not included on the list of businesses police say Dallas admitted to breaking into. So we asked police about the case, and investigators said they plan to re-interview Dallas, possibly Wednesday, to see if he was involved in the Stitch in Time burglary as well. In Green Bay, Robert Hornacek, Fox 11 News. One other point to the story. We contacted a Dallas family member today who said he had no comment on the story.